another unboxing today, and here are the puzzles we're working with. And so here is the Shengshou Fang Yun 3x3, the Yushin White 2x2, and then lastly the Fangxi Lim Cube Mega Mings. And so I'm pretty excited for all these puzzles, and so let's just get into them. Alright, so let's just get started with this Shengshou 3x3. Now, Shengshou is definitely not known to have the especially best B cubes, but I've heard some pretty promising things about this one, and yes, I did get it in pink because it looked really cool on Cubes Easy. But let's just get into some turns. Whoa. Alright, Shengshou is definitely upping their game. Well, for starters, it definitely turns really smoothly and definitely a lot better than their previous 3x3s, but it feels a little bit unstable just because it's so fast. Yeah, it feels kind of like a mix between a Tanglong and a Weilong GTS. And I'm getting a little bit of catching. I'm not sure if that's from the squared off corners. But it still turns fairly nicely. It has somewhat of a crispy feeling, but also a bit smooth at the same time. Corner cutting is really, really good. Reverse is completely effortless. That's so nice to do. And it is fairly tight, I suppose. So yeah, you know, out of the box, not a bad cube at all. Um, I'll have to see how it is after some setting up, but right now I'm not too sure if it could become my main, but I'll just have to see how it is after I set it up. Alright, and next up, let's check out this Yushin White 2x2. So it comes in this really cool case and it has a stand along with it. And then here is the cube. Now, I've actually heard some really good things about this cube as well. Um, I heard it's the nearest thing we have to a old plastic die in 2x2, um, but let's just see how this thing performs. Wow, just first turn, it's super, super smooth. It's really quiet too. Wow, that's actually not bad at all, that's really nice. I can definitely tell it's a little bit too light for my taste though. But wow, regardless, it definitely turns super nicely. It's really stable, but I'm just fumbling with it because it's so light. I'm not really used to it yet. Corner cutting isn't that bad. Um, I could definitely need a setup, but out of the box, it's actually pretty nice so far. And if I were to compare this to the Kung Fu 2x2, I wouldn't really know which one I would go for, honestly. Um, this one has a totally different feeling, actually. Um, the Kung Fu 2x2 is kind of like a faster with 2, whereas this one is a lighter Dian 2x2. So out of the box, I really can't say anything bad about this cube yet. The only thing is that it's a little bit too light for my personal turning style, but that can easily be fixed with just getting used to it. So yeah, definitely a really, really great cube out of the box. Alright, so let's take a look at the last cube in this order, the Fangxi Lim Cube Mega Minx. Now I haven't heard anything at all about this, so I'm not sure what to expect, but for starters, I definitely really like the look of it. It has smaller edges and centers, and so these bigger corners may be Fangxi's way of improving the grip instead of having bridges that stick out or anything like that. Um, but let's just see how this thing turns. Alright, definitely a Fangxi puzzle. Um, it feels really, really sandy and dry. Yeah, I can tell it has frosted pieces. Really sluggish, to be honest. Um, but hopefully that'll get a lot better with some setting up. Corner cutting is really good. Yeah, definitely the best corner cutting I've tried on the Mega Minx out of the box. Um, but the feeling, aside from it being sandy, I can only describe it as a slow and sluggish Shuang Ren, if not a really, really slow and dry uh, Guangying. It doesn't at all feel like a Jia Yun, personally. I would have liked to see Fangxi implement something like the Dian Ridges, because right now I'm not really gripping the puzzle too well, um, but that could also be because I'm not used to the puzzle yet, or that it's just super slow and so it's not really turning the greatest. But out of the box, you know, it's not bad, but again, it's not that good. So I'll just have to set this thing up and just see how it turns out. 
All right, so that is about it for this unboxing from CubeZZ.com. I'm definitely really enjoying and very impressed by the budget puzzles, the Xinxiao Fang Yun, and the Yushin White 2x2. I'm definitely going to have to work with the Feng Shi Mei Minx, but definitely a cool surprise from Feng Shi since we haven't seen anything from them in a while. But overall, just some really great puzzles out of the box, and I can't wait to see how they are after I set them up. But if you especially want to see a review on any certain puzzle, then let me know. But I hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you